What's going on, boys and girls? So we're gonna mix it up a bit and talk about a few smaller stories today. If you're hot and steamy and ready for weenie, I, I mean, if you're excited for this video, then drop a like right now. Let's go for 10 likes on today's video, kids, but with that out of the way, let's get started. So Dream recently sat down for an interview with Anthony Padilla to talk about YouTube, his career, and his future plans to do a face reveal. So for those who live in their parents' basement, Dream is a massive Minecraft YouTuber with 23 million subscribers who is no stranger to controversy, especially in the speedrunning community. And Anthony Padilla used to be half of Smosh, but is now interviewing people on his own separate YouTube channel. And yes, I did say that Dream was going to do a face reveal. That's right, kids. Buckle your seatbelts, down a shot of motor oil, and prepare for the rheumatoid arthritis because sometime in the near future, Dream will reveal his mysterious face to the entire world. Or at least, that's what I'm getting out of this interview. So in this interview with Anthony Padildo, Dream explains that wearing a mask can limit the content he makes. He wants to express himself fully, but he can't because of the face restriction. Dream stated that he wants to do a reveal with his friends or in some way that involves his fan base. He talked about maybe doing a meetup or an event that wouldn't make the face reveal the main event. Now, of course, I'm not a big Dream fan, and I'm going to leave it at that because if I say anything else besides the fact that I'm not a big Dream fan, the Dream Stan army will harass me, DDoS me, leak my IP address, and will find me in my sleep and stick bottles of lotion in my ass. I think Dream doing a face reveal is good because it will at least allow him to expand his creativity, but I think it's kind of bad too because once Dream's face is public, he's not going to get his privacy back. If Dream finds himself in even more controversy again in the future, which he most likely will, people are going to actually know what his face looks like, and it will no longer be the smiley face getting the hate but rather Dream's face getting the hate. Well, I mean, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. It's kind of like five-day-old Thai food that's been sitting in a 50-degree fridge in the middle of downtown Mexico City, and for some unknown reason, the door to the fridge is just left open by a crack, and some dude just offers you this Thai food for like $1 and claims that it's the best Mexican dish you'll ever have, even though it's Thai food. So you eat it, and it tastes pretty mediocre, but then you get the diarrhea shitties. What I'm trying to say is that the face reveal will be exciting, but it might come with some consequences. Oh, and in some other shocking news, apparently Dream is racist or something. I don't know. Twitter is just going ballistic today. They're having a field day over there. Shane Dawson, America's hated cat fucker, has alluded to his impending return to YouTube after sharing an update on his Instagram saying that he is not going to abandon his YouTube channel. And honestly, I don't really care for Shane at all after the controversy that surrounded him. That's still surrounding him. If he wants to come back to YouTube, then fine, but I'm not going to be looking forward to it. And neither is everyone's cat. When I said I wanted the Queen to come back to YouTube, I didn't mean Shane Dawson. I meant Jenna Marbles. Please, Jenna, come back to YouTube. Your crown is awaiting you. Your throne is still the same. But good God, Shane Dawson, don't come back to YouTube, please. I honest to God can't stand Shane. Like, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, that whole group, I cannot stand that group of people. They're just trouble in my opinion. Now, do I know them personally? No. And I don't want to. Have I been on the internet long enough to see the amount of bullshit they get, they get themselves into that can easily be avoided by just being a decent human being? Yeah. Moving on, Corinna Kopp just unleashed her highly anticipated OnlyFans account on 6ix9ine. Nice. Fucking nice. Nice. 6ix9ine. Nice. At 25 United States of American dollars or whatever the equivalent is for your neck of the woods, you get to take a glimpse into Corinna's life, her private space, and also you probably get to see her naked. Get on the bus, boys. We're going to down bad town. Grab the lotion and let's party. Okay, so in all honesty, I am not going to buy Corinna's OnlyFans. $25 a month to see a pretty girl get naked online? Are you fucking kidding me? I could buy dinner with that money. I could go see a movie with that money. I could donate it. I could buy several prostitutes in Laos with that money. Why even spend money when the hub is free? Or better yet, why use the internet when you can go to a bar or go to the gym and just meet a girl in real life who truly cares about you and your feelings? I've seen some comments under Corinna's Twitter post and not just her advertising her OnlyFans account, but just her tweets in general. And it's mostly these 32 to 40 year old stands that just want her to acknowledge their existence and it's honestly kind of sad. Like, dudes, I get it. Like, trust me, I made a whole video being down bad because of Samsung's virtual assistant. Like, I get it. I'm fucking weird, too. But look, let's all meet up. Let's grab a drink. Let's find some women, all right? I had to switch up the gameplay because I ran out of Cold War Zombies gameplay. Thank God, right? Anyway, let's recap real quickly. Dream's face reveal is coming sometime soon in the future. Dream is apparently dealing with some racist claims on Twitter. Shane Dawson might be returning to YouTube, so hide your kids and hide your cat. And Corinna started an OnlyFans account. And that's awesome for her because she's gonna be able to retire before 30. Anyway, that's the video for today. I'm gonna go inject a fruit smoothie into my arm and get my vitamins in. If you enjoyed the video, like I said, leave a like. Let's go for 10 likes. This video took a while to make 
And uh, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to be notified of when I upload, follow me on all of my social links, and join my lovely Discord server. Links are in the description below. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, I'm not spending $25 to see Corinna. Oh.